for camera? Yeah. So um, turn he's, on one. The, he's on the main camera. Turn you is one. I don't know if that's going to pick up there. Bob, yours is off. off. So, um, on that. Okay. So, planning board meeting open. A minutes approval. You said okay. General? Minutes of it to approve uh, minutes of the 5 5 meeting. Okay. Motion to do so. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Show the vote now. Okay. Uh, next up, 441 Main Street. Looks like we're, we're rolling on schedule here. So, <coughs> motion to open up the hearing. So, motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, Luke Nimmons. Okay. Present parties. Who's presenting? I'm uh, starting. And, uh, okay. Just let me hand you these plans. Okay. Quickly, <laughs> we're going to try to. Move. We got a lot of people on the list today. We added a few, so we're going to get through. Um, <laughs> question came up on sidewalks while we're while you're setting up. I know that one's taken out. Do you have a timeline to put that one back in? No, okay. Yeah, the sidewalk is going to take care of. Actually, that would be uh, the community trail people about a week ago. On the sidewalk at the time. We're trying to get it done now. Yeah, I'd like to get it done Yeah, I'd like to get it done quick too. So, yeah. All right. Second issue came up. Um, I understand the lights are adjusted. Um, your landscapers, Pescara, I guess they're starting early again and on Sundays. Uh, they were there down there on one Sunday and they've been talking. Okay, they did it again. You want us to call him, or? He hasn't been down there since then. Uh, what he day did, was he, he down there? Again. That was about two, two, two or three weeks ago. When was he down there? Yeah. We have um, pictures. They were there uh, this past camera. Sunday, the Sunday before. Okay. They left at 7.30 this past yeah. Sunday. They were there this morning. Both crews pulled out before 7. They were okay. there at 6.50, so back up along. You want to call him, or you want me to call him? Uh, I'd be glad to call them. Uh, do they know that they can't yes. roll before 7? And they do they do. know no Sundays at all? They do know. So who's running the show if they keep showing up well, on Sundays? I'll tell you, I have a guy on site there at, uh, at 6.30 every morning. Yeah. And his job is to make sure there's no, there's no activity down there. <clears throat> Even on Sunday? No, not there on Sunday. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what happened. Nobody should be down there on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. And, and he was down there on Sunday, and I told him, I said, you cannot be down there. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem with him and I. If you okay. Him okay. You know. All right. We got this. I want to just let me know what's going on with that, or I'll, if we have to make another call, we'll do it. But yeah, they, right. they can't be I'll, doing I'm glad to work with you on that. Yeah. The lights um, were adjusted when? Uh, just mm -hmm. last Wednesday or something. Okay. Have the lights been a problem since the last it's couple days? But the two that were that we identified are, the, are those. Right, they're not. They're not straight, not facing. Correct. Okay. All right. So those are those are the two big ones. Yeah, and we'll, those down lights now. Lights, yeah. All right, and we'll continue to look at those other ones. Yeah, did the other ones get canted down yet? We've turned everything down that we can. All around the whole perimeter. Yes. Okay. All right. What we'll about the firm and the fence? Yeah. You know, on the uh, Moore Flame Drive. The landscape plan and, and Bob, we were yeah, trying to get you in loop on this too. On the new plan, you can see it's uh, we've taken that. Uh, the, the you want to present it there? Or, uh, Larry? Did the town clerk get a copy of these? Yeah. No. Okay. okay. He's, he's, he's showing it. Yeah. Greens. Okay. Yeah, this so kind of show us. Uh, these are the two buildings that. Uh, okay, right here. Eric adjusted the lights on. Right. There's a. Where's the approved. landscape plan there? Forgot. It's on the next sheet. Okay. Uh, this is the berm you're talking about. We'll have a fence on it. Right. Uh, and the existing fence is going to have what on it? A screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> this, this was waiting. Well, this wasn't, but there's a fence here right. and a fence over here that's going to be repaired. That was waiting for uh, 
approval of a determination we filed with the Conservation Commission. Right. Are all these approved. are all the sections of that fence on wharf? I mean, uh, I didn't inspect each one of them, but uh, are they all completely repaired, or is there still a couple bent? Oh, well, there's got to be some more repairs. Yeah. They're, they're all repaired except for the gate. One gate is bent and needs to be taken out. Okay, so, so we still got some fence work to do. All right. Yeah. Okay. All the fence work has been done. Except, except the, at full size. Except, except the gate. Except the 200 foot buffers in it. Everything except for us. Right. From here down, we couldn't do anything. Okay, okay. But that's so, been subsequently approved. Okay, so we still got some fence work to do on that. Yeah. Okay, show me sheet two on landscape. Bobby, on, um, just to jump to through. highway for a second, on the landscape plan on wharf, yeah. Um, have you been down there? Yeah. Yeah, Eric and I walked in, and um, I was out there with uh, some of the residents, too, looking at it. Um, some of that Eric owns, and uh, some of that the town owns. The last page. For the uh, scrub and uh, some of the tree work in there within the right-of-way. Yeah. Uh, this page here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. on Wharf Lane. Yeah. Yeah. So you, as part of your duties, you do a normal tree trimming, I know. Where are you talking about? The, the, uh, around the cul-de-sac, yeah, on Wharf. Wharf Lane. Wharf Lane. Oh. It's outside the property. Yeah. Right. So, so Bob would have to do his work. What do you mean? It's Why do you want to do anything? Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of scrub. And it might open up more. Tree damage over the years. Yeah. I'm just thinking it might open up more if. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Or by the town. It is it's just underbrush that grows, the wildlife lives in there, little birds, there's wild blueberries. So, so they don't want to touch it. Okay. okay. So you'd rather leave you'd it rather the way just it is. leave it the way it is. Okay. Not, nothing to do with this plant anyway. Right, right. From what he's putting in. Okay, okay. So it'll be more of a buffer. Yeah. Okay. I don't think the intent was to take anything out, but just well, he's the dead stuff. Gone in and cut down all the wild blueberries, and then he's gone in and he's cut down two trees, and that's why we disagree that the fence is repaired. It's not. I invite you to come down and do you, it. We yourself. just we just confirmed that it's not in right. that area. But so. out in the front, it's not fixed either. Okay. All right. It's so not we're, just we're, the gate part. what area are you talking about here? She's talking about here with the um, with the berms, so they don't see the, in the area here. Okay. Okay. And then um, in the what I was where, talking about. Where that is time. the area that that the landscaping shown in the right of way for Wharf Lane? It's not. No, it, it was a, a cul-de-sac here. Right. No, no, that was a question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for because so it's not yours. What landscaping don't you want me want? Well, let's touch. We're going to have to put you in touch with the residents over there to see what what it is over there. Uh, when can, I was there, there was a lot of dead. He can do what he's down. doing here on his own property. You don't want him to go on to walk. No, no, he no, can't. he can't. That, right. That's okay. where Bob would. But down him. along their fence towards the the back of their property right. line. That's what we're concerned. Yeah, what it is is on Wharf Lane. This this uh, brush, <coughs> okay, and they want to leave it for a, a well. little buffers. Well, we were proposing for. Berm in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you shown this plan to them? Plan in the back. Would you like to come forward to take a look at this? Turn this one around, Larry. Turn it around so they can see. We just want to get this right on the yeah. landscaping. If we have to revisit it, you know, just at another time for. Okay. This this is a proposed berm to help screen your property. The same as what you got over here. With, yeah, that'll be with a fence on it, and uh, the board the board in. So we're going to have the dirt, the big dirt mound, and yeah, but it'll be I mean, landscape. The trees are already be. dying here. There's seven of them that are brown. There's a few dead. Count the number. Yeah, and I've talked to Mark McKay. They'll He's take care of that. Them. That's yeah. Mark. When I walked the site with him, he noted what was. Hey, how are you? So what? We did, he's done some landscaping here and here, nothing out onto the street. <coughs> but we were proposing to put this berm in. Yeah, yeah what are you going to do? Do you have to leave it open where the gate is? Including the berm, and I'll address this. I don't know. Well, I'm not worried about that. Yeah. I don't know. On the trees, well, you put them in the 
in the winter. The they're, the they're, they're questioning whether the gate that's at the end of Wharf Lane, yeah. whether that has to be left open. Can they put the berm, continue the berm like how they have it and then yeah. come down the side? I think so. It's up. What was that, Eric? Was that something you wanted? The gate? You know where you, the gate is? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to block the gate. I'm going to okay, block everything gonna, but the gate. So then that's yeah. going to leave it wide open at the end of the road. But the gate will be why closed. We want. It's because always closed. The, uh, but it's wide open to the dirt, the noise. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. They, they can, can put the skin on the gate. They can put fabric. They can, the they can put a fabric on the gate like a fence. Oh, so then what will that look like? Well, that looks good. A stockade <laughs> fence on... Yeah. yeah, we want a stockade fence. I mean, that's what the other property owners have. No, they could put stockade on the chain link gate. They could do something like yeah. that. Eric's already talked to park a fence across the street on the screen or, um, the fences. Just for expediency and, and the, you know, we're not going to solve all these issues right there with that. Can we, can we leave a flexible landscape plan? Any, anybody agree with that? So we, if we have to tweak it within I mean, the you go back, you, you do it a future sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. And you want us to tweak it. You okay with that? That's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. One big question. Yeah. Okay. The, the proposed fence on the new uh, firm, what is that going to be? Is that specified in the plan? going to be, isn't it screened with chain link with screening? You talk about a picture. the berm, what the berm is going to be? You, you, no. the, the plan shows a new berm with a fence. This, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, it's the fence. The fence is going to be chain link, six foot with the blind on it. Closer to the activity than they are. So what's? I'm Larry Kelly, general construction. I did all the work on this project for Eric. You know, we started out with the lumber yard that, you know, was a mess. But for all intents and purposes, it was a brownfield, and no one could have done some what he did there except the substantial. As far as his berm goes, the berm was elected. Eric did it because he wanted to raise the elevation of the trees. We did it in December. If any trees are dead, we'll certainly replace the trees. Okay, all the abutters don't have a berm. The berm is basically in front of your house. Now Eric wants to go around the corner, okay? The berm's gonna be seeded. There's not gonna be any dust. <coughs> the reason he did the berm is he wants to absorb, absorb noise and prevent, to get the trees high. Eric's spending money like crazy to make everybody happy. And you know, you're unhappy, but you know, you had a lumber yard with probably 1,500 trips in and out a day. And now you have a little bit. Let's, let's get the fluff out of the way now, okay. please. Okay. Let's go with facts. <laughs> okay. Okay. We've been there 35 years. We know what the lumber yard was, okay? No, so let's not yeah. revisit that, okay? This is we something. have many people waiting their turn. Okay, so, so for the landscape plan. The put up across the street and then all down Wharf Drive. The we burn is on, on Eric's property. The burn is on Eric's property. Well, and the point yeah. was we need to have some decorum. They need to present yeah. everything and then at the end have a question and answer thing. Yes. We're trying to get through this. The, the solution to the problem on the landscaping is we, we got to revisit it. On site, everybody there. We're not going to do it on a piece of paper right now. And But yeah. I do want to nail some of these things down. We got landscapers going out that should go not be going this. out on Sundays. We got to fix that. We've got to fix for that already. Sidewalk issue. Okay, that's, that's being addressed right there. now. Uh, yeah. Fence is still going to be yeah, repaired. We've got landscape to go back in. The trees, I uh, wasn't worried about those. I knew they would have to be changed at some point. No, they're changing things. Let's hear what they have to do. Okay, so we got other people on Because some of them might not be changed. No, they're not? But that, okay. does that are come under the... Staying or are they going? What's that have to do with the that, planning board? That doesn't come under the site, site plan review. It's if they get hours of restriction under the, uh, under the special permit. It doesn't come under it. So um, what else are we presenting this, on this here tonight? The special permit okay. from who? On us, the zoning board, the zoning gave, board the gave, the gave the hours. That wasn't we okay, didn't hours on. See if we can play, as Bob said. Let us make our presentation. Yeah. Then move on to audience participation. Okay. As, as you're aware, that 
And I'm not presenting anything else on plan at this point. I may point okay. to it a little later. That would Peter Williams and our engineer, uh, Mike Rosati from the Sean have gone back and forth on various issues. We, uh, John Clement from Need is our environmental consultant. Uh, you've seen all of that stuff. And uh, about two weeks ago, I think it was on May 9th, we did a site walk with uh, Peter, Mr. Williams and two members of the board, and along with our engineer, Mike Rosati. I think that helped a lot because Mike, primarily for Mike and Peter, because they were both on the site and they could discuss okay. see things and discuss the various issues. All of that input <laughs> has been incorporated into these plans. Uh, we agree to the final recommendations in Mike's report, the last five or six items. I mean, in uh, Peter's report. Uh, lost it. We also submitted in these plans a uh, plan for phase two, which is showing additional buildings over in this area. That's been incorporated into the plans. Just going to get the image for a second. Okay. Yeah. Eric's has decided to say is proposing additional burning, uh, replacing fences and those kind of things. That's really the lights changed. Yeah. We've, uh, that's, that's I think I mentioned it before, we've been in front of the where it's been in front of the Conservation Commission. There's a determination that they are working on, we've approved it, that will allow us to do the work that's within the 200 foot buffer of the river, which mm -hmm. isn't substantial, but putting a new front on this building and repairing these fences. And with that, I mean, we're pretty much in, we're in total agreement with Mr. Williams' comments. And, uh, would request that the board approve the site plan in my area. <coughs> I assume you've seen uh, the stuff that John put together along with the procedure for any new tenants to fill out and submit to the I town. haven't seen that myself, but it's when we were asking for it, I know that. Yeah, that's quite hidden. It's been emailed to Bob, I think. Right, I sent it to you too, but I got a copy. Uh, oh, all right. Oh, that's that's okay. okay, thank you. Before I sit down, I'd like to see if there are the two gentlemen with me would like to say anything. Yeah, I, I'd like to, you know, the, the blind that we're talking about, the fence blind that's going to go down on uh, uh, Wolf Lane there. We're also going to put that fence blind on Main Street. We were, that was a recommendation that Peter made. Uh, what do you call it? Story Town Square? Down here. So uh, I got pocket. Peter, have you seen what that looks like, the blind? No, I haven't. Do we have a picture? I don't. I took pictures yeah. yesterday. Too. I've got them a sample. Yeah. <coughs> Remember the hazardous materials? You talked to me about you had lockers for everything in yes. the buildings at this point. <laughs> yeah, they, for, the, for the minimal amount of uh, flammable material. Relative to the NEAT report? Yes. Okay, you're going to hold them to what uh, basically the NEAT report was talking about? Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. Right. And any, anybody else who wants to go above that fills this out, you know, be submitted to the fire chief and to you people. Okay. Flammable cabinets have also purchased them, and uh, I'm in the process of being placed there for need. Any recommendations? Peter, is there anything else to add on this? Can you well, I'd like to just, uh, there's a, as there was a long list of items that yeah. were, you know, outlined in my initial re reports, and, uh, and they have addressed uh, many of these items. Um, although some of them, I, I, I think for the record that the board should, uh, you know, include in the decision, make sure that it's fully understood in the future what's going to be required out of the site, like the, um, 
one of the things that's they're, they're showing two uh, two uh, watershed protection district boundaries on this. One is based on the town's definition, and one is the current SGIS. I think technically, because your regulations specifically refer to a map, or no, it, no it's an update under the uh, MassGIS system. The the one that's by the town's definition is shown, but we know that the actual more current one is in a um, <coughs> further to the north. I think in consideration of your decision, you should you know take that into account that the district may extend further into the, the, the importance, the aquifer zone may actually extend further into the site. And you should consider that in your decision. You want to show them some uh, of those two lines? Uh, I think we, we, we looked at that before, but you have this line here, yeah. which is basically you know, taken from the town map, which is yeah. the record. But if you look at MS, MS GIS, it's out here, it's out zone one, two. Yeah. Legally, I think it's the town boundary, but I think in working with the applicant, you can agree to use the mass GIS as the. We have no objection to that. It's this building, this in this building, it was in that zone two to begin with. So it's, uh, if you want to put it down in the notes, it's building D102 I'm and D101. Sure so oh. I thought maybe this is, is this the town line? Is that the one that's the town line? It's, it's referred to. The the regulation, the zoning bylaw refers to that line to a map. Oh, I see. So the mass, the mass GIS zone. So, yeah. Which is more so we're not going to be able to do anything between zone two. No, and I don't have. Any, I, don't, I don't have a zone. Mm -hmm. So that should be recorded okay. within your decision. So it's one o B one o one and B one o two. Okay. What else? Um, well, if we accept BZA's comments and I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Report, okay. I mean that's. Pretty much, you're going to, you know, his hazardous material environmental policy report. Okay, I don't know if you want to get hit with the the uh, board of fire prevention and regulations. I mean, you know, it gets deep. Well, that was the other. If, if you know, they had a couple other, you know, with all the okay. comments in that more to the incorporation of the recommendations of the meat report. Yeah, should be a, you know, a, okay. a condition of approval. Right. Okay. So that it's clear, you know, right. where you know what's going to be required in the future again. <coughs> okay. Are you a, in agreement to that? The his <coughs> report and the neat report. Yes. 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 And I'm continuing to work with John. With, yeah. uh, Um, and then going back to page four, we do have in my additional comments, they really, they don't have property bounds or actually property lines shown on this plan. Now this project is a little bit different is that there's really no new buildings or the new retail building is, you know, clearly meets any setbacks. And I'll just be sure that the board is comfortable with accepting that. Um, all the other buildings, there are some buildings that but have been in existence for you know many many years that are close to the property line, which it wouldn't be uh, you know uh, impact if the zoning if the property line was a little off along because the pre existing yeah have you pinned anything building. or found any pins? Well, it's, it, what he's talking about is his buildings down by Johnson's Creek, which would run into a problem. It, but they're yeah, there. It, it they're really, there. They yeah. were there. They're there. Um, I'd like to see them disappear, <laughs> <laughs> you know, at some point. <laughs> Where'd you get those totem poles, anyhow? <laughs> there was totem uh, poles. The, uh, now, when you put the, 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 the proposed new addition buildings in there, I mean, is that, can you go up to that square footage? Remember, you, I think you, you went down from the existing square yes. footage. Yes. Well, what do those new buildings do? Uh, I think the area within the building but is still paved. Yeah, it's shown on the table. Well, I'm talking about square footage in buildings. You, you had a total square footage in buildings in the beginning when you bought the property, then you took some yeah. stuff down, yeah. went down on other total square footage. Now, if you go to add some other newer buildings, I mean, where does that put you? I'm just thinking ahead before. It would obviously put us over what's existing. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. if you go back to the Board of Appeals, I mean, you're going to limit yourself at that point. I mean, is that something better at that point that it's you might the, you yeah. might take some down? <laughs> well, it's, it's on the, uh, the zoning table up top here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I just, I just, I just don't know if that's going to become a, a situation in the yeah. future. Uh, you, if you understand where I'm going, yeah. okay. No, we, we, everything is on this. Plan. Okay. And and I, I just, you know, we have decided to take the party D off the table this evening yeah. just because of the, you know, I, I, hey, listen, I'm looking to get along with everybody. Yeah. So I'm another forty B drop bites of dust. Is that it? Well, <laughs> Well, I know it's not yeah. our problem. It's not my problem. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I think, in, in talking to the majority of the neighbors down there, yep. they, they would prefer the body be gone. Yeah. And they would prefer that we have a, a continuation of what we're doing. Yep. It just makes more sense. Yeah. Less traffic, quieter. <coughs> less lighting, less everything. So where else, Peter? Okay, and then um, that I missed. On page four, I did have, based on, on my site, the site visit that we performed in the um, revised plan, a couple of items that have come up. Uh, they are showing a, a dumpster with two dumpsters, and typically those are screened just for containment of trash and visual effects for the you know, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> There has to be some handicap parking, right? And it's four. And I talked about that it doesn't appear that they're display is any way compliant. Right. So it's going to be replaced. Or repaired. Repaired. Rectified. 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 Good word. Um, and I, I couldn't recall when I brought the site. I didn't know if there was, and it wasn't shown on the plan whether there's going to be uh, sidewalk ramps at the entrance if, if for the sidewalk. You can prove that either they should have sidewalk ramps. Yes. The plan is for you and Bobby uh, Kaylin to get together to, to right. get fixed on that. And also that, and there's a rails trail right. that's been approved, the engineering's been approved, and that's going to be, actually take a right, coming from Georgetown, that would take a right going Main Street towards the center of town. So. And Eric, you we would, met with the rails trail people. Yeah. Yes. And so that would be coordinated with right. them and, uh, and uh, you know, try to get Larry and you together to uh, lay that out. And, yeah. Uh, make sure we're compliant. And certainly we have to make a gap adjustment. Plus the people who come by there, we need to have baby carriages and things like that. Yeah, as far as the ADA goes, the existing building requirements had none. We poured both entrances with the required slope. The sidewalk was done with Right, there should be two handicap regular and two vans on that with a hundred. Also, Peter, did you check the ramp going into the uh, right. front building? That's the one we're looking at. The ramp. Okay. Yeah. 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 And Peter brought it up. Mike said you're right. Great. And we'll fix it or rectify it. Okay. This is great. I don't uh, use those big words. Yeah. I also had a, a comment. They are now with the you know showing the. the for the parking, we have a number of uh, parking spaces that are perpendicular to Johnson's Creek with a very steep slope right off of it. And I thought it was just good practice if we had one on there. Uh, so parking is over the slide off. Right there? Yeah, right there. Um, and then, as I mentioned before, I was curious of the type of fence that was going to be put on the new firm down by Wharf Lane that wasn't specified. Should be specified in the plan so it's clear in the future. Yeah. Yeah, we can add uh, that to the final plan and we'll get the board to sample. Maybe okay. So, are you suggesting a guardrail 
guardrail. Yeah. Yes. Either, yeah, that's telephone yeah. poles or the uh, standard guardrail. Yeah. Steep little area. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. the other thing that came up was this. Uh, <coughs> Didn't we call it in the fire, but right now with this whole hatched area, you see the hatched area? Yeah. They're calling out for bulk storage mm -hmm. for this phase mm -hmm. until the, you know, for this phase until phase two is done. It should always be clear, I think, on the site plan that the uses proposed should be specified. There should be some solicitation, whether it's going to be bulk storage or what. And I would think that there probably should be some additional screening since the bulk storage is going right up to here. And then we also have the question that this bulk storage now is, is within the aquifer protection district, some of it. So it's certainly a concern of identifying what materials will be placed or stored in that area. Okay, that's, that's on page four. Okay, anything else that's popped up since this report? No. Okay. All right. I'd like you to be real careful with that. That's all. All right. All right. Yeah. So, um, all right. All right, we get just a couple minutes. Because we got a busy schedule, so it's real quick. Yeah. I'd like to be part of the decision on that fence on the ground. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have a, a second meeting on this or third, whatever it takes. That's that's the flexible plan, we can't nail that down right now. Um, uh, anyone else want to add any other comments to that before we close this out? Okay, so, um, motion to close. I thought we would. Motion are you closing the hearing, or are you? I think close the hearing and vote on it. Close and vote, yeah. And then we've got everything we need. We still have lots yeah. more meetings to go with the landscape and the so other. What are you voting well. on? We're voting to close this hearing. Uh, we have a lot of a lot more engineering work to do based upon the final report, okay, and approve a um, if if the board flies a motion to approve the site plan review with all the corrections modifications yeah. the uh, flexible landscape plan um constant monitoring etc yeah so and then phase two timeline okay zba you got to go back to them how soon okay so, so after here, we're going to get back into there. Yes. So within a month. Yeah. Okay. So there's another process through that, through back through ZBA. Okay. All right. So back to the board. Motion to, um, to close. I'll make the motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion to approve with all conditions, restrictions. Um, well, what you want to do is accept the uh, GZA report. Well, we modified it a little bit. With the neat report, as modified, the neat yeah. report and the hazardous materials uh, policy. Okay. And landscape plan. Um, Do we reference these plans here that's been submitted? Well, they're going to be because if you've got anything last minute corrections to make them to it. Yeah, so, so that's, that's a different spiel. Uh, that'll come through. So, um, as Jim motioned, so yeah. someone second that? I didn't. Is that, okay. Is that, can, can, what was the motion? To, to, to accept the, the modified GZA report, the NEAT report, and the hazardous material and environmental policy. And the landscape plan. And the landscape plan. Right. 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 Yes. Yes. Plan. Yes. Yes. What? NFL Wait a minute, decision. Walter. <laughs> 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 one of the main purposes of this hearing was to the aquifer protection group, but I think that this board shouldn't frankly approve storage long term if they're going to do it to further information. Oh, you want us to stay out of the management of the aquifer protection group? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. 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 We got site plan and the aqua protection committee. Yeah, right. Two separate. So, and um, how did water sewer? Did they put that back there? We're okay with that? Did we get a on aquifer? What was that? Before? They just gave us a thing. Of, didn't we get something from them in writing? Said Peter, it was what in was the zone aquifer? two. That's all. That was it. It was clear. You know, it said yeah. some. You know, when the zone two was clear. Right, but we still have to hear from the water and sewer for the aquifer. Okay, so, so we don't have a we don't have water and sewer. Fire, fire suppression. To them when we submitted this, yeah. they had 30 days to respond. 
Did you vote for them at all? All they, all they ever did was he sent us the thing saying, you know, it's it was partially in zone two, that's all. And I think that's it, they didn't have any. It's this front cutoff. So okay. we've extended that zone beyond what the okay. town zone. So. Yeah. so they didn't have any any further restrictions? No. 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 Okay, that was the problem. So we just approve as, yeah. as cited then when we do. That, that okay. gets to be a problem. I mean, they wrote that bylaw, gave us the ability yeah. to command it, and at the same time, you know, it's like, okay, what do we do? Well, you know, they it, always it's not like you can, you can walk out on a place and just find the aquifer. Okay. It might be over here, it might be over here, it might be straight down the middle. You have no idea where it might be. In this I town, mean, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, <laughs> but, but it, it's, that's about all you can say. Well, Jim. That's why they have zone two, Larry. Just, just, bear, just bear in mind, Eric's paid me hundreds of thousands of dollars to clean this whole place. And we didn't find the aquifer. Sawdust, <laughs> hundreds of loads of sawdust under that mill and get out. All kinds of sticks and debris and stored lumber. The, the best thing the town's get out of, is going to get out of this when it's all done. A lot of that pavement's going to be gone when he, when he gets the approvals he wants. There's going to be way, way less impervious area, right? And he's really not going to touch the river. Sure. You know, he's going to touch it very carefully. Okay, we got to prove the motion. Yeah, we just I want to talk yeah. to you. Yeah. So, so where, do, where do we stand yeah. on this? So, yeah. so we, we got a motion. A motion, either. A no. motion to approve. Yeah. And we got the aquifer, which is going to be secondary. So we need to vote on the one that's already here. I, so we got to Eric, it on the vote. Eric, are you in agreement with the GCA recommendations? Yes. And the NEAT? Yes. That's what we're going yeah. to do. Yeah. And if town clerk's got to get a copy of that, too. Yeah, yeah we'll get that was an oversight. Okay. So motion's up and seconded. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 So the vote unanimous. Okay. Aquifer protection. Uh, all in favor to approve. Uh, somebody well, vote that motion. That's what Peter was saying. We need to address those. Well, if they didn't, if they didn't give us. We, we agreed yeah. not to put any storage in the area. Yeah. Peter was right, but we're talking about the permit. In the zone two, correct? Isn't there? Don't you have a dual permit right here? Yeah, we have a site plan and site plan. And the the aquifer protection, right? So we need a motion to approve the aquifer protection. Motion to approve the aquifer protection. Oh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The condition, correct? Right. Yeah. Right. And the, the, and the restrictions. Yeah. Restriction correct, and it's in, it's all referenced in the report. So. Okay. Um, you have the bulk storage and the um, to keep out of it. Okay. Yeah. So we have approval with the conditions and restrictions as indicated. Okay. So that clears that. Okay. So be it, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I don't mean to be patronizing, but it was a pleasure to, to be working with Mr. Williams. <laughs> so noted. He's got a long drive. What about us? No, what about us? <laughs> <laughs> we signed up for this. So, um, <laughs> okay. Pecker Lane. We know yes. where we stand. <laughs> for the plan, you can have ours. Yeah. You want to get one of these? Yeah. I'll, one of these. Yeah. I'll get you guys more copies if you want. Yeah, please yep. do. Yep. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Thank Good you very night. much. Yep. Please come again. Good night. <laughs> I hope never see you again. <laughs> I'll be I'll be seeing you soon. You've already seen it. You'll be seeing it. We got we got a gauge we'll pass, you know. We'll have to send some of the next bonds. We have to get we we'll have to set up an account. account. We should have said that. Sure, we'll yes. see him we'll later. He gave me the code. I can get in the way. We, oh, we, no. we can we can get in. Oh, for me and Paris. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We can we can get in, Bobby. You know. <laughs> Okay. All right. So you. Okay. Which plan? Where's your mylar? I mean, one plan, one mylar. Golly, how are we doing with the sound now? Is it all right? No, I turn. Oh, I got mine. That was good. We turned it on. Okay. Homestead, you're on deck. Okay, Bob. We have a form A and a check for you. Go. Oh boy, thank you. Get them out. That's all we get. What is this?
Five this is for a pecker lane, pecker one lane. A and R plane. Oh, okay. Uh, I got two. Two? I thought you wanted two. Three. Me, you, Claire. Any corrections? I see circles, setbacks, pool to remove, driveway access, works on the plan. Okay, before <coughs> us here we have um, Pecker Lane plan. Six located at number 13, Form A plan ANR. Control law. This has been submitted um, before. Had some corrections. The corrections appear to be complete. Just confirmation from the applicant. Yes. Okay. Form A plan and said check to the town of Groveland is here. Um, motion to endorse the form A. Uh, hold on. Okay. Let me, let me see. Okay. We had him put the uh, driveway on, the circle, um, the road, and then the notes. You have met with the uh, highway commission. What I don't see is the topographical to see where the water's flowing off the property. Yeah, it's got topo on there, but it's topo, it's flat. Is it that light that I can't see it? Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, this topo. Yeah, this day the lines are real light. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're line. real light. You real can't light. see it, Bob. Yeah, all right, yeah, that's, I'm barely making them out yeah. now, yeah. All right. Okay. Can you read which way is it sloping? I only yeah, see that right. number. Where's the next I don't number? My glass. It's not 30. Looks like 32. Yeah. <laughs> is that USGS? I don't know, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. You can barely see this. <laughs> Buy some ink. Who's? Yeah, I was gonna say. I got. You come. Which way is it sloping? Do you do you know? Have an idea? Okay. What thirty two? Uh, I mean, this? eleven pecker is yeah. pretty flat. It's yeah. five foot. Yeah. There's, there's really not many lines. Right. I mean, it's a five foot scale. Yeah. And there's not a five foot drop across the lot. Perhaps it's five feet. Okay. Is it any any of the lawn proposed 36. lawn pitched to the road? That's thirty six up here, Bob. So peck of land. No, yeah. that's thirty four. Okay. Yeah, right there, thirty four. Two foot increments. Thirty two, okay. thirty four, thirty six. Your roof drains are gonna be yeah. underground, right? Right, yes. Yeah. They're gonna put right. in the swing. You bend to the water and sewer to see if they're <laughs> when they're gonna run the water and sewer line up. Uh we we need to go talk with water and sewer. We have a design of a sewer plan that, that that we formed after talking with Mr. Cusick. All right, so when that's done and the road uh, to make it passable on the part that's not hot top either way, and to get the water that's running off in the, what Bob and I were talking about is a minute swale down to the catch basin on Main Street that goes under Main into the river. So we were talking about an open throat catch basin to catch any water, because everything's downhill to the river, mm -hmm. to catch that. Because the houses down the bottom, we don't want to flood any of their little yards out. It's very uh, narrow there and everything. It's got to run to that catch basin. Mm -hmm. So, My understanding is uh, Mr. Kelly has met with Mr. Arcalian, and they're, and they're in agreement yeah. on that on a reasonable way to handle this. Larry, are you going to be able to put well, the minute yeah, swale gonna, in the property? Yeah, I'm going to do the work there. Yeah. And right now, prior to them doing anything, it was actually an old, broken up... Clay you know, pipe or something? Asphalt going straight down at those houses. Oh. They've already sloped the right side back. Okay, it's a, a fairly gentle slope. Bobby met me out there. We're going to put the water main on the left side, the swale on the right side as you're looking down the river. The swale is going to be uh, a stone, you okay, know. Rip -rap or yeah, rip yeah, rap. Okay. Okay. Then a grass swale up to the lots, and they're right. It's it's a fairly gentle slope. We took the material out. We took skip shan's old loom pile out, and then that open throat would tie into the existing basin. But that's really almost overflow water. It's just going to come off that little road. I think Bobby's right. Bobby's recommended <clears throat> one two-inch coat of 16 feet of pavement. It's not a new subdivision now. 
Hmm. It's he, we're trying to bring something yeah. up the grade economically so they can build the houses and it will be better for the town. All right. So they as, as you know, Larry, a hot top doesn't really mean anything without a good sub base. So you're going oh, yeah, to I'm gonna do, yeah, well, we're going to do a good gravel. I'm do whatever you and him yeah. tell me to do. Okay. We're All figuring right. 12 inches of state spec gravel with probably a crown to the swale on the right. right. Looking down at the river, it'll kind of crown to the right. Okay, so 12 inches of state spec gravel and two inches of asphalt, you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, they would like to get some help from the water and sewer department. The sewer, de the water department wants the main to go from the river to uh, all the way up to- um, Gardner Sewer. Right yeah, and you know, it's, it's financially almost catastrophic. You know, it's ridiculous. You know, I don't want to see them do well, so I'm sure, you know, the town would rather have water, but the water board's kind of unreasonable. But as far as the road construction, uh, they only have three lots there. It's going to be a big improvement, you know? Okay. And well, I'm going to do it, what, you know. What type of sewer? Is it going to connect to the sewer? Or yeah, we're going to connect to the sewer and come up okay. on gravity and have several manholes. Okay. Uh, obviously, you don't want septic systems. When you say riffraff, what I probably would like to see is like inch and a half stone so that if any vehicle tires like an oil truck or it something is. like that can actually, if they have to squeeze over, they're going to ride on that. No problem. Right. We'll do that with soil yeah, It's easy to maintain. We yeah. would do that with soil stabilization cloth underneath it. Yeah. It's just going to be a big improvement as to what's there, you know? Okay. Yeah. All, right. all right. So before us is the A&R, which is what we're doing on you guys. Are glad we recited all that. Um, we have a motion to approve the A&R as submitted and corrected. So motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Fill the vote in units. Get your mind like that. You guys want to sign this thing on me? Gentlemen, Mylar coming down. Okay, on your form is timestamp by your clerk tomorrow, or she gets one, we get one, you get one. <coughs> one goes over with your Mylar, and the same goes 635 back. Okay. You've got our paper copy? Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Everybody wants to sign that as well? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, the one online is way out. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Homestead Lane. Okay, just hold on a minute. We gotta do this again. Figure out the date. Yeah. Well, we put all the dates on. Who's <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually submitting the extension? I guess I am because oh. I'm the owner. Okay. They're and then you gotta transfer later. Okay, so then you gotta. Okay. All right, so answer that. Uh, okay. You want data too? Yeah. You know, you're gonna bring it back. So many copies, six. Okay, you gotta just yeah. go. Bob and Bob and sign that one over there. Yeah, just hold on. There you go. Okay, it's you and Marla. You don't need anything else, right? This is us, right? No. This is uh, yeah. us. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Should it say extend the subdivision? Well, requesting an extension. Yeah. 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 Just requesting an extension of the subdivision. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
get added there for an extension for three years. You put the uh, uh, yes. right, right. It's not, it's not a permit. It's just an extension of the subdivision. Is this block? Hmm? That's the sign. Yep. This is, yep. This is our sign. Yeah. Yeah. So can we say to extend the subdivision approval? Yeah. No, this homestead. Yeah. After that, three, three years. years. So right. just put approval after that. Is that okay? It's going to read it into the record of voting. Okay. At the moment, it just yeah. doesn't say. Okay. <laughs> this is this is still what five house single family house yep. lots. Everything's correct? the same. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also including the your, the original house on that as well, correct? Which makes what six? Right. It's the same. There we go. It okay. Before. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure the single family house is going up, and that's it. Not duplexes. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, you're current with all your taxes, right? right? Give us a briefing and all that. Ask them. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is current just with all the taxes. Okay. So, okay, the black area. That's a question. Here's a question. Are you current with all the taxes on that entire property? The ownership on it. It's very. It's important. It has to be paid. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we're not supposed to let it go through if you're not. Are you current? Okay. Yeah. And that's the entire lot. Before Tahula buys it, they'll be paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so just for the record here, before we, reading in here on uh, today's date, we have a, a request from from the owner, okay, uh, Christopher Who is? Dark, Christopher Dark, okay. to extend, and I'll read it into the record, Homestead Lane subdivision uh, for three additional years, which is allowed under the subdivision control law of Groven. Uh, and the letter says, I hereby request the Groven Planning Board to extend the subdivision approval known as Homestead Lane, Assessor's Map 17, Lot 74, Alpha, Lot 74, for three years to June 10, 2018. The subdivision was approved on June 10, 08. Decision filed on June 25, 08. Decision dated 5, 27, 08. Plan Book 437, Plan 99. Approval Book uh, 28032, page 27. 275. Uh, motion to uh, extend Homestead Lane subdivision for three years as permitted. So motion. Second. All in favor, so that's say nine. Aye. 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 So the vote unanimous for the subdivision extended for three years. Okay, now. Yes, you got to go get this over to the town clerk and then we got to report it over to. Now, it's very important it gets recorded right away, not yeah. what happens. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, you know, we can't keep doing this. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is the third one. So. <laughs> we went through 10 years of the worst real estate recession in history. Oh. What, when did that happen? <laughs> started did you go out of business? No. <laughs> only, only because I work seven days a week. We haven't seen you for years. <laughs> Walter drove me out of the town and Barbara Sheehan drove me out of the town. Now I'm just building roads. <laughs> hey, hey. Easy on the throwing out of town stuff. Uh oh. Thank you, John. I still tell Larry, that story about Matthew Larry. Drive if you're rebuilding that bridge. Larry, oh, you, did yeah. they call you the highwayman now? No, 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 but the only thing, I built 11 subdivisions and they're all accepted. Okay. And it wasn't easy to do. Right. Hey, at least we're black and white. Uh, is that all, that, is that all they're doing with this? Explain to the people what we just did. Yes. Yeah. Is anyone here that has a question on what we just did for Homestead? No, but is that all they're going to do? Okay. Aren't we well, going to. Homestead Lane, for those watching at home. Uh, subdivision approval is good for seven years in Groveland, and that one was expiring. We do have a uh, allowance in the subdivision regulations for completing of a subdivision to extend it three years. The applicant yeah, has to let's get a. What are they going to do? We should get a plan, that up-to-date plan. Yeah, they're going to come back in and give us the whole presentation. But for those at home, the what subdivision was extended yeah. three years. What right. Are they going to start? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to come back in and give a whole. Larry Kelly, do you have a is there approximate a schedule or anything? No, Steve, Steve's in charge of the whole show. I may or may not build the road. I like, I want to build the road for him. We're working. Okay, on he's he's Who's got to contact me with a schedule. You're going to so. give us a schedule. We have the fairways up next. You're going to give us a schedule. Hold on, hold on. We're, we're talking about something, Wally. Okay. Yeah, you're, we, yeah, we're, we're moving up next on the agenda. I don't know where they went. I understand the roadways. Well, I got to go then. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you wanted to. I don't know where no. they went. Okay. What else he, he, uh, he has to be here. We're yeah. going to be talking about him. He has to be here. Okay. Where'd he go? I don't fit all three of them. Maybe they just stepped out there. He's still air. here because his uh, Bob? briefcase is out there. They're negotiating out there? All right. Negotiating. <laughs> I'm Sarah Farinato, and that's my husband, Justin. Okay. Come on. Come on. Well, well, stay there. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> we have a mic for you. That's, that's okay. Okay. And tell you're me. number six? No, is this the trees? No, we're three fairway. Three fairway. Which one is? Three fairway. Um, yeah. We had um, issues with the landscaping. Your trees. Okay. Uh, yeah. The loom and also a tree that's in, in our front yard. Okay. And then along, we have other problems as well with the inside inside the house, with oh, um, the walls, the ceilings. Right. You talked to me earlier. Okay. Yeah. The uh, inside of the house is a separate matter. Right. right. That's, what, yeah. what we want to hear tonight is just the outside, yep. the landscaping. Right. and. Yep. Uh, you Who's mentioned a tree? Yes. <coughs> um, there is a, a tree that is in the front yard. Is this that, one of the two trees that required that he plant? In the no. each each house lot. No, no okay. this this tree. Um, it yep. was actually um, it was actually on the lot already, and we asked that it at least be filled. And he said that um, it could possibly kill the tree if it was filled. And I said that that wasn't a problem if they needed to to take the tree down. Um, you you want to level the right. round around it, yeah. right? It okay, just yeah. pools with water. Um, yeah, all winter yeah. it was. Uh, and it's also not straight. Yep. It just looks terrible. It's like an ice. That was there for the whole time? Yes. Yep. He said he could not remove it. Why not? He, he said the town didn't want him to, but yeah. then. It wasn't a located tree. All right. We need him in here, though. Yeah. So. What, what are you suggesting? That they I'd like it the removed tree. and yeah. just felt. That's an easy fix. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. <laughs> We've went. That's we've gone it. over this with them many times <laughs> okay, through phones and it. emails. Any other landscape issues? Oh yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other issue was um, the the yard is supposed to be loomed twenty to thirty feet or on the disturbed areas according to the specs. Yeah. Um, around the perimeter of the house, mm -hmm. it wasn't done at all. They brought in a, a small pile of loom, and they basically used that pile just to kind of grade um, the yard so it was. Yeah, it's supposed even. to have six inches of loom all over the. There's right, definitely not there's that. Not. All right, so when okay. he said that it was loomed, and I, I can show you pictures of where they actually. Uh, Those are after he said he loomed it, and this is before when he said there was loom down. What we found in it. They put a yeah. little bit of, of loom this? around the tree. Oh, no. And this is after he said we had loomed it the first time. We moved in in December. This picture here. Yeah. There's and just um, a little bit of loom here, here and in front of the there. house they did. So the they kind of just put it sporadically around like the low spots. Um, what it but but it's so not are, enough to even to plant to the grass. The grass is in grow. Right. Is dry well oh, dry well. And I, I did put some yes. grass seed down because we said that we were going to supply so the grass seed. The yeah. they were leave so I put some down just so what's because it look like of how late now? in the yeah. year well, it's getting. Did till the soil at all? Right. I tried to, yes. But it's all underneath. It's it's very rocky. Clay, rock. Is this all bent by the same landscaper? It was done by Potter, I think it's called. Well, he brought some in because we complained that there wasn't enough to grow our own grass. Because we did, we waived our own. This is horrible. Yeah, we waived our grass seed. And that's and that's after the loom. The pictures are just nice. Bob, have you been I down? Just, yes. I just talked to him on the phone the other day about all this, and he said that he's gone above and beyond. George or, or the landscape. George. When he, gets, when he gets in here, I'll explain to you what, Walter, yeah. when he gets in here, yeah. we delve into it, but what I've been told is that in December, he put loom down, and then through the winter, it dissipated and ran off and everything, so now he brought... That was, that was after the winter, that was in our... Right. Yeah. He said he put down screened loom, and I was like, how did that fall through the screening process yeah. then? And, this, and then he brought in a little bit of loom just last week, yeah. and not enough. Right? Yeah. And uh, he, that he was when it was after it was done in the spring. He was filling in where it needed it. Right. Yeah. Okay. He so, needs to do more. Yeah. 
So yeah, you, you know that's you're not the first place about landscape, but you know that happens in a new subdivision. You, you know you put stuff down, the erosion comes. You just got to go back and address it. It's not a big deal, right? Um, right. But to that. Now you've got trees too, right? Yeah, um, I right. need trees um, for the contract. It right. So how many are missing? I'm sorry. How many are missing? Well, it's nine trees that are physically dead. Yeah. And there's three more that are should be considered dead. So a total of twelve. You need 12 more trees. Yes, but they have to be equal in size to the ones that did survive. What caused them to be dead? I'm sorry? What caused them to go dead? No idea. Were you watering them at all? We were watering them, and I said that we were not. My wife, my mother-in-law, myself, mm -hmm. and if we weren't watering, with all due respect, we wouldn't have 17 mm -hmm. plants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all in one yeah, line. You need to get them. It would be replaced within one year of being planted. I contacted him. Yeah, keep those pictures year. out because when he gets in here. Okay. What's your What's your name? Justin and Sarah. Um, what is it? Really Justin and Sarah. Okay. 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 Now who's and the who's last name is you F A R. Are, I'm Adam I N S T O. Uh, for for George and Josh. <laughs> for George and Josh. Okay. Okay, who's your landscaper, Bill? Uh, my landscaper is Josh Patton. Okay, so it looks yeah, like you just got some, more of that. You yeah. get some erosion right. from what we've seen here. Um, you get some dead trees over there, and that, that stuff happens. Um, we've got, judging from the photographs we saw, you, you know, the loom goes down in the middle of December. Get, you know, trying to do the right thing, but erosion, we had a horrible winter, so it's just got to get redone. So um, from what we see out there, that's that's what's going to happen. This, it's just part of the subdivision. It's really nobody's fault that Mother Nature dropped on us. So, but it does have to be addressed. So, what's your pitch for the fix? Well, we've seen the pictures of Bob's been down there recently, right? And we, yeah. We, yeah. We came again and shimmed up with some loam to the driveways and the walkways. We raked it again. Yeah. And. Um, we Did feel you? that we, I mean, they have water going on it now. I'm assuming they've seeded it at this point. Yeah. Uh, Those pictures nice were taken a week ago? Yeah. These pictures were just okay. taken, yes. yes. Um, well, those those are from before, and that, those before uh, Chris Porter came? No, no they, they were after. after. Okay, we have some from before and some, we have some from after. Yeah, this right. is theirs and stuff. What, what are you paying for a yard of loom? It's inch minus. Area. It's inch minus loom, and I believe the regulations are two inch two or less. Inch. We're mm -hmm. putting down inch minus loom. Okay. And um, and how deep? Because you gotta have six inches. Six, six inches, but I believe that I mean no. it certainly is compressed um, mm -hmm. from when we put it on in June. Uh, when did we close the nails? Uh, December. December. Yeah. But most of it washed away, and right. what was yeah, in it, 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 I mean, you saw the pictures of what was in yeah, it. Yeah, so it's, it's got to be fixed. Metal. So what's, what's but, your, do you have a plan to fix it right now? Walter, let yeah. me let me tell him what he needs to do. Right. I've been planting grass seed for 40 years, and when you put the loom down that you did in December, it got packed down. Right. Okay, now, to fix this problem, you need to dress up with new loom, and then you need to harrow it to loosen up all that packed loam, then yoke rake it again, and then they can plant the grass seed, and all the loam that's supposed to be there will be soft enough to accept the roots to grow. So that's what you need to do to straighten out theirs. And as far as the tree that's in a hollow that fills up with water and just stagnates there, they'd like the tree removed, and that would be an easy thing with a bucket you know, just rip it out of there and fill that hollow in. They don't want it, and you don't need to replace it. So I think that would alleviate your problem, right? Yes. That's what I want you to do. Okay, the tree was supposed to be on the plan. That's what we wanted to remove the tree from the beginning, and the planting was part of the plan. Right, we require two trees planted yeah. per lot. Do yes. you have two trees on each lot in there? We do. Okay. But you were counting that one? Yes, and that was that was and that was a request of 
when we went through the so whole So if he removes that tree, okay, and doesn't plant another tree, you're going to be all right that's with that? Fine. That's fine. Okay. Good, good. Okay. okay, so that solves that. This, um, when was this done? When was um, what done? That was that, just signed recently. That letter was just signed. No, no, I mean, it says that it was completed. Well, all, at different, all at different stages. So yeah. Right. When the homes well, completed. you know, you get a very large disturbed area when you build yep. a subdivision. It's yeah. going to happen. This isn't anyone's fault that Mother Nature does what it does, especially in the middle of winter. You're trying to, you're trying to put stuff down to, to meet the requirements for the closing in December, et cetera. The grass is not going to grow in December. Right. Okay, so you're going to get erosion. If uh, Probably, looking back with hindsight, maybe a lot of hay bales, but then you still would have had to rake it anyway. At the end of the day, uh, with all that erosion washing down, right. you but still would have had to re-rake it. With just a yawk rake, it's not enough. He's got to no. get deeper. Four inches down minimum to loosen up all right. that. Right. Well, what they used was a was a machine on the back to get it's, to get, it's to get still down. Still got to get. It okay. It's it, in other words, whoever thought that bloom and seed was going to take in December, okay, uh, really miscalculated. We didn't put seed down. It, and we didn't even we didn't even York rate. That could have been looking back right, now. But I bet you could have held back on that with some money in escrow and said, you know what? This it would have been better. To put it down. Let's yeah. do it in the spring. But yeah. Yeah. that's maybe for future. Okay, so right now we got to fix this. So you got to go back in. You got to get the machine out. It's going to cost you. You got to put more loom in and you got to make it right on all of them. And it's really not your fault that some of this stuff can happen, so don't take it personally with that. But it is part of the process, and it has to be addressed. And it's simple. We're just talking loom and seed here. It's nothing really major. I guess it, you know the, the the applicant's in a different difficult position when you're selling lots. Obviously, over the course of the year, you're negotiating with individual purchasers, and you're negotiating with their lenders. Yeah. And you know we've got we've got a list here of individual lots that my client was kind enough to prepare for me explaining the negotiation that occurred and when the loan was going to have to go down and when it would be seated based yeah. on the time of year. So it, it, it puts the applicant in a difficult position having to spend the money to get this done, often at the buyer's request, at the lender's right. request, only then to be told they've got to do you know, it a second time. For you as a builder, uh, if you're going into winter, just line item that escrow, okay, and stick it in escrow and refuse to put the stuff down. Uh, except what's required to, to, you know, hold it to pay bills, et cetera, because it's going to happen every time. Can I just make a comment? Yeah. We were told that there's a spring punch list that, that was supposed to be gone through, and this would be addressed then, and we, that hasn't been done yet, so I don't know if this was on that list or not. Well, like it's, it's going to be addressed now, so that's, okay. that's going to be taken care of. Okay, so how many trees are there? If that were supposed to be a two per lot, that's one. Is there another? Yes. yes. Okay. So, and you really want that one out of there? Just just the other yeah. one the right. one, so. Okay. And it's not near the sidewalk, is it? No. No, it's away from it's, it. It's away from it? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of right in the middle of the front yard on that yeah. side. Okay. So the, that hole will be filled, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and pull it out, get it filled in. Right. Loomed in. Yeah. yeah. So that's I mean, an easy fix. Some type of, you know, how, you know, Am I going to work with Bob individually to determine how much loam is put down? I'm not just, you know. Well, we need six, you need six inches of loam and core it. I mean, loam, not, not stuff that's. So because I've put down six inches now and some is compressed, right? I just have to keep filling it until it's six inches, even though. That's why you don't do it in the fall. After you loosen up enough it's under that hot say, pack, I can tell. October 15th. That's what your regulations say. So, but so if you're, you're going to put seed down. Just following the regulations, I should just be waiting till the spring. No, you need to stabilize a lot, but no. when you're planting seed, I mean, that's you don't not what put the regulations say. The regulations clearly state that it does not need to be stabilized. The regulations say I have to put down six inches of loom, seed it, right, and that's done. Okay. They decided to, with me that they didn't want it seeded, so we put down the six inches George, of loom. It's not going to grow in December. It doesn't I understand matter. Understand that, Wally, but this is what they're. This is what they wanted. They okay. That's that's where your expertise comes in over. Over and you just gotta have to you know, do it. But we'll we'll get to that later. Okay, so from now on, when you get into that, I would recommend uh, that you escrow that um, you and, know, and for future homeowners because it's not gonna grow. And that's typically our preference. But I mean, yeah. I think you're again. I, I think that the board, to some extent, is putting us in a difficult position because you're telling us, well, your expertise has to govern. But we're we're trying to negotiate with the purchaser, and isn't the purchaser always right? The purchaser says, I don't want you to see the lawn. You know what? I, that's where you need to be firm. Look, I, I don't want to seed this, okay, because it's not going to grow in December, okay? And uh, that's just something to no negotiate between the parties. It's really not here, but we have to address it now. 
so we're going to. Um, so the tree's done. We're going to get out there, redo the seating with that. We got 12, 12 trees. We got to address over here. What's the solution for this? The solution to this is very clear, and Bob O'Hanley will, I'm sure, back me up on this. I was two things with uh, Mr. Monday, right, when we first were doing the subdivision, if mm -hmm. the board can remember, I'm not sure if you can re recollect what went down. Mm -hmm. He asked us to put a fence up, okay, yep. on the side of his lawn, on the side of his house. Um, we made an agreement that I was going to give him $2,500 to put up a vinyl fence that, of course, never has gone up, and we agreed to put a certain number of trees on his property, right? Yeah, I remember. And Bob Eric Hanley put the trees in. They we put them in. They were alive when we put them in. After that, it was his responsibility to water the trees. Mm -hmm. Bob Ericalian called me. He, I'm sure he talked to Bob O'Hanley saying, the guy isn't watering his trees, guy isn't watering his trees. Some of the trees, over the course of time, because it was very dry at that time, died. Mr. Monday did tell me that his mother was watering the trees a couple of months later. He said, my mother's been watering them since the beginning, which I'm I just going to excuse me. System. First of all, okay, um, just let me finish. I'm going off of what Mr. Eric Hillian said. I brought it to Bob O'Hanley's attention saying, you can clearly drive by and see that they haven't been watered. And now I'm being penalized because uh, his trees have, have died. Bob Eric, and just to prove a point, Bob Eric Hillian on that, on that crazy uh, berm he built had a bunch of trees there, right? He had maybe three or four trees die, okay? Throughout the, the, one of the toughest winters we've ever had. Probably 70% of his trees die. So what does that tell you about the care that Mr. Monday took to those trees? I feel like I'm being taken advantage of on this, and I'm not, you know, I don't agree with. That is, excuse me, but that's probably the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Okay, well, ask about Mr. O'Hanley. He, uh, he agreed with me at the time when we spoke about it. Well, I've been talking with Bob myself, and he said, per a contract, the agreement we had, George, in your words, a man is as good as his word, is, his, what, is what he can do and what he can say. You planted the trees, we had an agreement by contract that said, within one year, if they die, you will replace them. I watered those trees, I have an underground sprinkler system that's on all the time, my mother-in-law has been watering them, and my wife was watering them. So how is it that we have two-thirds of the trees that did survive and one third did. Explain uh, that. To let me. me explain something. That you're you're lying right now. Uh, I said that. I all right, right. Hold, 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 hold. Okay. Here's what we got. <laughs> we, we've got subdivisions all over. We just had 441 Main Street in here. They put up a set of trees. Half of those died. Okay. Uh, we're not going to figure out who did what, whatever. The trees in. If he's got a contract. Okay, for one year. Okay, we'll take a look at that. I do remember the conversation about the trees. If right. you plant trees and the subdivision is still going on, you got to go replace them. And who's your landscaper? It doesn't sound like he's. They're on his lawn. They're his trees. They're not okay, on the but subdivision. But you planted them, so. So you know, and we're talking short money here. You're, you're going to be paying this fellow more than to replace some trees. So yeah. it's. Kinda, Walter, we we had them in front of us. Yeah. And. George, you did agree to replace the dead ones in front of the board. I remember that. If he didn't take it. If the ones that yeah. died. That yeah. Is that underground sprinkler care. system visible? <coughs> I'm sorry? Is, is there a pipe visible that goes under that? Can you see it somewhere? It's a head spot. <coughs> okay. How yeah, long has that been in? Since I bought the house. Okay. So we got a, an automatic sprinkler system that's putting on the trees. I'd like to see that sprinkler system on. I've never seen it on. Right. Oh, I, oh. I actually. This is absolutely amazing, George. Okay. It's well, we're not going to get into a, a shooting match here. Wait a minute. You said after the trees were dead and I contacted you that you would come over and replace them. I still have the text message from you. No, what I said was the trees that initially died, because I do believe that they weren't watered and I acquiesced to replace a few of the trees, I said, but you need to be watering them. And that's when Bob Eric Helian told me specifically that Mr. Monday has okay. not been watering. I look, time out. We're, we're not going to get it. How somebody can sit here and Hold lie on. like this. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. We're, the right. trees are going to get replaced. Now, whether one way or another, if I'll go out there. I need to walk the subdivision myself. I'll be out there <coughs> probably this weekend. Okay. I'll take a look at it. I was out there the other day driving around. Okay. Um, leave me your contact numbers, George, along with your landscaper. I want a meeting with him. Okay, you have too many issues on landscaping in one subdivision that I haven't heard in 23 years. And I don't know what it is, okay? 
So, so maybe it's winter. nothing, maybe it's just the winter, but we've had the worst winter in thirty. Absolutely, years. I agree. So there should be an allowance within the way you do business on a bad winter that you gotta replace some stuff and it's no sense getting riled up over well, here. These were dying before this past winter. I agree. Maybe they were, but because you never know what you're gonna get out of a nursery. Okay, but they still have to be replaced. So it it's really a non issue. It has to be done. Let's just make arrangements, get it done. Okay, and then we won't have any more arguing right. or fighting going that way. And so Walt, it's, it's, it's very important that their yard gets done within the next two weeks because of the seeding. If they want to get grass growing, yeah, that this has to be done immediately. And, and how'd you make out with that French drain? Uh, we're supposed to put it in next week. I okay. said within two weeks we were going to get it done. Okay, and that's we did the, actually. I actually, if you talk to Eric now, I feel that he's satisfied with what's been done. Right. It's the 25-year storm we're worried about, or the 100-year storm. No, everything's fine with number six, Eric. Okay. Okay. And so in the French drain system, what's the proposal for that? He told me at this point he didn't want us digging up his right. lawn. Everything right tightened up, and they're re-landscaping. Nothing's going to sit Did there. You it? It will be fine. Uh, I put a nice small swale into it. Yeah. So it's what's under the swale? When the grass grows, there's or? nothing, yeah. and it won't need okay. anything. All right, we'll take a look at that. So is the board coming out to look at the trees to make a determination? I'll, I'll come out to look at the trees. They're going to have to get replaced. The board already made a determination. They've got to get replaced. But I want to see this I, for myself. On, on what, on what so. basis do they need to be replaced? I mean, I understand that they were installed. There's no requirement that there be some if form of warranty. If they've got a contract that says a year, we have a well, live subdivision going on. Where's, where's that contract? Can you um, uh, produce that uh, email? You, you should have it. I brought in I, seven I copies of it to you okay. about four months ago. All right. So, George, you have a Let's copy. just make I'll this a, a, a non-issue. Okay, okay. It's really not. It's no sense getting riled up mm -hmm. about it. And you know what? We've had subdivision. That man that was just in here, Mr. Keller, okay, and I referenced Matthew Dry for him. He put in a subdivision, closed on it, and there was issues with it four years later. Okay? Some of the trees died. Some of them didn't take. Yeah. Uh, there was a riprap. That was problem. on Evergreen. Yeah. Um, well, th this one was Matthew. And uh, he went in there. We asked him to put in just some stone because it was eroding. Okay. He went in there and spent a week of his own time and his own dime. And he said, you know what? This didn't come out the way we wanted. This isn't the way that it should have been. And I'm taking care of it. And he just redid the whole thing. And he even rebuilt this woman's bridge over there and replaced every single tree down there. Okay. And you don't know what you're going to get out of the nursery. Um, you never know what's going to happen, so there's no sense blaming anybody. But you want to, George, you want a finished product because you've got another subdivision going, and you don't want people driving down there checking out the, new, the other subdivision and say, well, what happened over there? So you really want a showcase kind of a thing. Right. And also, um, George, the board bent over backwards to let you finish that project in December. You know, so we, yeah, we bent over backwards for you. You, and you don't need take to it take personal either. I don't want residents. you to think we're under attack from you. This is a business thing. We, we have to do this with the board. We have to, we have to get things going. But stuff happens on subdivisions. It's it's an immense, a lot of things coming together at the same time. So you can't blame one thing on one person or anything like that. It, it just happens. So and we know that, and we have seen this for decades. So it's just a simple fix. You get the trees replaced. We get the landscaping done. You're gonna have happy customers. Uh, you've got another subdivision coming down the pike. Uh, that you want to do and you want people to look at your work so um and you can't blame i mean mother nature really took a tumble on new england so there, there's really not much you can do about that uh, everybody got hit with that so um but contact numbers would be helpful folks do i have yours um you might have mine but we'll give them to you again oh, okay and then that, that we'll just take down on that uh you well, folks get together with the contracts well, you said within two weeks. I'll, I'll talk to Bob Eric Kennedy. He's the one that put the trees in. So okay. Uh, for, the, for these people, within two weeks, though, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'll take care of that. I, I, yep. do, wanna, I do would like to meet on site with you, Bob, yep. and go through exactly what we're to do and make sure you know they're in agreement with it. Okay. You know? um, I just had one other thing I wanted to, uh, to bring up, and it was the, the front steps. Um, Cast? Yeah, those they're be, cast and they're... Those will be shinned. So they're not level? Yeah, they sunk down in yeah. the front. 
It, it, ha it, it happens. Yeah. You know, there's there's bolts on the back of it. That yeah, the those shade, are fine. The shade puts on, and so what happens is, is your steps are tied mm -hmm. in to a foundation that goes all the way to putting eight yeah. feet down. I'm familiar that, with that. That's what footing that's under there. It's going to be shimmed up. No, it's attached to a wall that has a footing all all the right. way down. But, but what I mean in the front is just like a patio brick that it's sitting on, and it looks like the whole thing sunk down in the front. And, the, and, that's, and the back and that's, is fine. And that's typical of what happens, you know, after, especially after, you know, a tough winter that we've had and the settling, but that is going to be shimmed up and repaired. Yeah, that's... Okay. And uh, I mean, it also, it looks like the steps are like... The steps are all they're like fall I sent, I sent, Sh I sent Shay to, um, to, because it's their product, mm -hmm. they're going to inspect it. What they typically do is they go out and the, the guy who does all the inspections, mm -hmm. oh. wants to make sure that the homeowner didn't... Is, are these concrete? What are you looking yes. at? Prefab. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Prefab. When they backfill around the foundation, you always going to get that. sediment, mm -hmm. um, and they can shim that oh, up yeah. and Thank fix you. that. Yeah. And Shea, Shea will uh, warranty their product if, if they find that, you know, it's, a, it's an issue with the, pro with the concrete. You, you know, if you, look at, if you look at homes that, that weren't, they go back in a shim, you've seen them, and they're like, Right. And over and over years, they, they actually will pull off over time. They'll, they'll mm -hmm. actually yeah. pull yeah. off. This because they did, they separated from the top so that there's a big space up at the top now. And I just, I mean, it's only that's been settling a few though, months. That's, that's going to happen. And you're, it's good that that happened now with the settling because now it's firm underneath and compacted. Right. So when he shims it back up, that'll come right up as normal. That's that's pretty normal. Okay. Now, should there be some type of um, like a footing in the front of them? No. No, it's usually no. just compacted okay. on the on the ground. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because they're, stone, you they're stone attached to the, to the foundation of the <coughs> house, right? Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. hanging. Yeah. They're hanging. Yeah. And that's very typical standard application of shake concrete. They do hundreds of thousands of them yeah. a year. You know? Yeah. 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 That, I've seen that. That's not a problem. That, that's an easy fix. Okay. Just as long as they get the level on it, which I'm sure they're going to do. We have that right. spring punch list that we have to go through, so we still need okay. to reach out to them. Well, that's that part's between the parties. We get the, we get all this other right. stuff <coughs> taken care of. Okay. okay. And George, thank you for, for addressing this. Um, I really do appreciate that. Okay. Um, and I think it'll just work out just fine under that. Um, and you know, we just chalk it up for. I mean, I think one. going forward, we have two other lots that um, yeah. we need to we need to loam up, right? Because we're doing some earthwork for lots <coughs> eight and eight. And we're completing the retaining wall for lot seven tomorrow. The excavator is going to be there to do final grading. Uh, either Thursday, Friday, it'll be completed by Monday because okay. the set lot seven has their own third party landscaper coming and doing their work for them. Okay. I want to make sure I have Bob there and we drop the loam. I don't care if we need to pull out a tape measure or whatever. And I just want you to it's sign off on it and say <laughs> if it, it's been done, you know, to yeah. standards. And yeah, he's. We do this all the time on these inspections. He goes out there, documents it all. He'll stick it in the, right in the loom for you, take a picture. Yeah. I, I completely understand where you're coming from on that. So that'll, that'll address that issue um, on that. We do that with paving all the time uh, when he's good out there. He's always got his ruler with him, checking everything. So. No, I, I made a special operation that I can adjust the point of it, steel, of how many inches so I can stick the hot top as it's going. The contractors hate me out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you saved Valley Farm Road from yeah. peeling up after it did. So they were missing a whole inch. Wow. wow. A whole inch in the road. And so I'll, I'll contact Bob Air today and tomorrow. Let him know that, you yeah. know, Mr. Monday's requesting that he gets his trees replaced. And, you know, so I'll put the trees in. Okay. So I would assume okay. that he's going to we'll take care of it. And, and do we have a time frame? I have to talk to Bob on that. So Try to get it within a couple weeks. A couple of weeks? Well, we should wrap everything up just around the same time. So. Yeah. Within I a day or so. I report back to, um, yeah. to Wally and, and Bob after I speak with Bob. Yeah. Know. Right. And yeah. when when those are replaced, it's going to be critical because it's going to be June and July. Water so water. there's going to have to be a well, lot of water. Clear. Once I replace <laughs> them, they're back. green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, That's it. Yeah. You guys got to get work with That's where you're going to come in. Okay. He replaces them. Okay. The second time, he fulfills in. his obligation. Do me a favor, George. When you put the trees in, tell me who the nursery is and the date that you bought them. And if they do die, yeah, I'm going to water the hell out of them. If they die, I will go back to the nursery and take it up with them. Okay. Fair enough. Okay? Fair enough. Yeah, that'll, that'll work out. Good. Okay. Yep. Anything else? Thank you all for coming in, George. Thank you thank very you. much. I really appreciate thank that. You. George. Okay.
Dusty Way, what's... We've just completed the test pits. Okay. And the winner was especially tough, not only on sites, but on getting out there and doing test pits. And okay. so Larry Kelly was out there for the past three weeks getting all the data. We finally got it done. And we are working on the definitive plan as we speak. All right. Let me know when to post. We're going to meet on the first Tuesday and the third Tuesday of June. So yeah. if you're ready, give me a head. I got to have two days in advance and not a weekend. You got it. Posted. I'll make sure that uh, yeah. you're adequately notified. Is your contact? Yes. Do you have a pen? I do not. Well, I have your email address. I can just email you again. Yeah. The intro. yeah send pictures. You, you know, if you get a question, you, you know, we, we work around the clock uh, on that. I'm going to borrow your second half of your letter here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Subdivision, a new right. home, a, a lot of stuff coming in. It, you know, it's a punch list that happens. Right. right. So you know. And well, what ha I mean, unfortunately, it was February when we noticed it. The cracks in the uh, yeah, ceilings that's, and the hall. And it's, 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 pretty, it's settling. It's pretty. In, it's not. Right. Well, it's not settling in there, right? Well, all right. You can get to that. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of. Yeah. Did he fix the uh, air conditioner or the? Uh, yeah. Was it microwave and air conditioner? Yeah, we got a new air conditioner. It was okay. not working. You know, some of this stuff isn't his fault, but no, he's no, yeah, we know that. We know that. No, they we know that. They do a good job taking care of that stuff. I admit they, you know, well, they were yeah. quick with the uh, they the air conditioning unit. They came woman. that day and put a new one in. So, she does good. get back to you quickly. I mean, okay. It's just the you know the landscaping, the time of year is kind of the crunch time for planting grass. You see it all the time. Right. right. Just, just some of the quality of work needs to be updated. Right. 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 We hear you, but it happens a lot. Right. We get it addressed. I think that's yeah. No, everything sounds good. Yeah. Thank you again for thank you very time. much. Thank you very thank much you. for everything. Thank you. Nice thank you very much. Nice to meet you too. Yep. Okay. Bye -bye. Thanks again. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good night. All right, board. I think that's completes our thank list. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Uh, that's Ooh. it for us. Would you get the jumbo size? <laughs> this is the new Galaxy Six Edge. It's nice. <laughs> it's, it's it's so big it requires a Galaxy. It's very own. light though. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say you, got, you um, need a Cadillac to since carry. Since we're still on live here, you guys want a motion to adjourn? <laughs> motion to adjourn. Yeah. Okay. Motion I to need adjourn. Need a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Show the vote unanimous. Show the meeting adjourned at. Uh, Thank you all for watching at home, and have a nice Memorial Day. Uh, well, that one's better than I thought.